guys, welcome back to my channel. So, today I am going to be doing a Q&A, but not like any other Q&A I have done. So this time I have had people on Snapchat Snapchat me videos of them asking questions and I'm gonna show the video to the camera and then answer the question So a lot of you guys will be featured in this video And if you do not follow me on snapchat already so you can have a chance to be in any other video You're just missing out if you're not following me on snapchat if you don't have one It's fine, but if you have a snapchat, there's no reason that you shouldn't have me on there So my snapchat will be on the screen right now So make sure to go follow me because it's like really great Right now, my Snapchat is public for anyone to send me Snapchat, which is not always. Also, I know I do have a lot of makeup on in this video, and you want to know why? That is because I just filmed a makeup tutorial for my new beauty account that I started on Instagram. It is called Curls and Cosmetics, so go follow that. It's going to be like a remake of my old beauty account, but with hair and makeup instead of all the cringy stuff I did on there last time. So definitely go follow it. It's going to be really fun and I'm going to post videos on there really often. So I'm going to make sure my volume's all the way up and let's just start opening these videos. Hey Ozzy, my question for you is why did you make your beauty account? Um, my last beauty account, I did like lip balm and chapstick and stuff like that. And then I started to do more makeup, like I switched to makeup. And then once school started, I was just getting tired of it. I didn't really have time to film. That's actually an excuse. You can always make time to film. Post account. And then I just got really bored of it. And I was losing followers because it wasn't a beauty account anymore. So I was just like, you know what, whatever. And I deleted it. But I'm back. So make sure to go follow that. What is your favorite makeup product? My favorite makeup product? That's really hard. Like... Until now, I've just been doing my makeup for school every day, not really caring what I'm using because I use the same things every day. That's why I'm like almost out of concealer. So I feel like I don't really have a favorite product or favorite makeup product. Hey, Azzy, it's Noelle, and we want to know what was your inspiration of making YouTube videos? Peace out, Girl Scout. I love you, Noelle. My inspiration to make YouTube videos? I really don't know if I had like a certain person I was really inspired by. Like, my parents were already making YouTube videos for like a long time so I've been around it for a really long time but I think like probably the main person I used to watch a while ago that really inspired me to make a YouTube channel was probably Simply Sage 6 and I don't really watch her videos anymore but I feel like that's who like inspired me to make videos I don't even watch like mainstream YouTubers I kind of just watch hair videos all day of like natural hair next question by Avery did I eat breakfast this morning and if I did what did I have I actually didn't eat a proper breakfast I literally just had a little bag of M&Ms and popcorn so I'm really healthy really great example for all of you guys um, and then I had quesadillas for lunch so. What do I really want for Christmas? Okay, this is kind of a hard question because last year there wasn't like a main thing I wanted for Christmas. Actually, I think I wanted a camera. No, that was my birthday. So yeah, I didn't really want a main thing. And then this year I don't really want a main thing either. Like for my birthday, I got my freaking nose pierced and I'm getting Nike Air Force Ones pretty soon, which are like main things that I've wanted for a while. So there's nothing I really am like dying for for Christmas. I just wanted to know why did you delete your beauty account and are you still in touch with anybody you used to be friend with from the beauty community? Okay, so she's asking why I deleted my beauty account, which I already answered, and then she asked if I'm friends with anyone that I used to be friends with in the beauty community, and the answer to that is yes, but not really. Well, I have a few. A few that I talk to, not every single day, but we cool like we can talk but not really like they're all they all just like left so that's cool so you used to go to my gymnastics and you live close to me but what is your favorite makeup product slash brand yeah see i never know how to answer that question because i don't really have a favorite makeup product or brand maybe like once i start doing makeup again but i still put you in my video I just want to say I'm a huge fan. My question to you is, who is your favorite YouTuber and why? Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is on the screen. Sweet 
kawaii girl you guys should all subscribe to her first of all you were like the cutest thing i've ever seen and my favorite youtuber is probably lisette i will put her youtube channel on the screen or i'll have it down below or something like that she's like the only person i can like relate to like hair wise kind of the same hair so i love getting like inspiration from her channel and she's just amazing and very real not fake i just love watching her videos so what was the scariest part about getting your nose pierced Okay, the scariest part about getting my nose pierced was definitely before I got my nose pierced, I feel like. I was so nervous, like I was shaking, like I had to sign a paper and my hand was literally like this. And then seeing the needle was kind of scary, just like sitting there on the table. I've never gotten a piercing with a needle, which is like you need to get your nose pierced with. And then for my three low piercings was a gun. Nose piercing is a way different feeling than an ear piercing. So it was pretty nerve wracking and kind of scary, but it was all worth it. And I got it done like seven days ago and it's already feeling very hurt. This is probably the stupidest question I've ever got, but were you happy or who was chosen for president? In my opinion, I was not, but I'm just asking. Okay, so I am like not into that type of stuff at all. Nothing I can do to change it. And I'm just going to support whoever is our president because they are running our country so you kind of just got a deal do you think that making videos about the bomb and stuff was a waste of time okay so do i think that making videos about lip balm and stuff was a waste of time i wouldn't say a waste of time because it did give me something to do like i was homeschooled i had like zero friends why not film videos about chapstick but definitely a waste of money i literally spent like 500 dollars on chapstick and hand sanitizer i can have such cute clothes right now but you know i bought that crap which is like all in the garbage now I have my question is how much does it hurt to get your nose pierced Okay, so she was asking how much it hurts to get your nose pierced. I would say out of 10, probably a 5. I don't know, like it really wasn't that bad whenever the needle goes in your nose. I honestly didn't feel like a sharp pinch. It was just more pressure and I could feel that there was something in my nose. I feel like it hurt more after than it did during. Worth it. And the process goes by so fast. The needle goes straight through your nose and they just put the jewelry in. I love it. Honestly, it's really not that bad. Question. Hey Azzy, I was wondering how old you were when you started wearing makeup or when your mom let you start wearing makeup. Thanks! Okay, so how old was I when I started wearing makeup and how old was I when my mom started letting me wear it? Okay, so I feel like I actually got into makeup at 13. I wouldn't wear it out and just like practice with my mom's makeup in the house. But I really didn't feel like I needed it. It was just for fun. I still don't feel like I need it. I wear it every day to school, but... I mean, I honestly feel like I look fine without it. It's just what I prefer. But I feel like I really started wearing makeup at 14. That's when I started practicing and wearing it more often and wearing it to school every day and getting better at it. And now I'm 15 and I wear it to school every day. I don't wear this much to school. I would wear these eyes to school, but I would not wear this lip color to school. Hi, Azzy. What do you miss the most about your period yet? <laughs> Whoa, Sam. You opened our video. I sure did. What do I miss the most about my beauty account? Is probably all of the friends and late night uvu calls that would go along with it. And I would literally uvu people. Like we would uvu like all night. It was literally the best thing on the planet. And just all the support I got. And all of my followers just always were so supportive. And were always there to talk to me. And you guys were my friends. Anyway, so no one else has sent me a video yet. I feel like there's probably people at school because it's only 119. But isn't it like Veterans Day? So I don't know. But anyway, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys can always leave video requests down below. And make sure to go follow my Snapchat, my personal Instagram, and my new Instagram with makeup and hair. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Just like stop, stop, I don't care what you're doing. Just click that button, it would help a lot. And make sure to also subscribe, which is also just hitting another button, but it would mean a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next video, bye.
if I could. 